Hello. This time I would like to discuss a little bit about subprograms and how we call them within our G Code program. So my name's Mark, I'm from G Code Tutor, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to show you how this works. So here's a basic program for a CNC lathe. Now it's not the program here that we're interested in, it's this line here, this M98. And that's what this is all about. This is the M code we use to call a subprogram within our main program. So let's take this line M98P0002. So what this does, the M98 is the M code that calls the subprogram. And this P value here, this is our program name. So P0002, we'll call the program O0002 from our machine memory. And this line might have extra bits added to it. We might see, for example, M98 P0002 L5. And what this will do, it will run our sub program five times before switching back into our main program and continuing running from the line below our M98. And that's not the only way we may see it written. It may also be written like this. So here we have M98 P0050002. So what this is, is this first block of numbers here, this P005, this is our repetition, and the following digits calls the program number. So instead of L5, we might see a number of repetitions added in front of the program number in this style. Now I'd also like to note here, as we run through our subprogram, the very last line here is M99. So what M99 does is this is the command to return back to our main program once the number of repetitions has been run. So the path our CNC controls would read this. It would start with our main program 0001 and it would read down until it gets to our M98 uh, subprogram call. So this calls our program here, this P0002, it calls our subprogram. So our subprogram will run through until it reads M99 and then it'll go back and do it again for the amount of repetitions that we stated. Once it's done its final repetition, it will read M99 and return back to our main program on the line below our M98 call. And then it will continue reading through the subprogram until it gets to the M30. But the fun doesn't end there. We can go deeper. So we can call a subprogram within a subprogram. So let's have a look how the structure may appear by doing just that. So we start off with our main program 0001. We read down to the M98 line. That calls our subprogram, in this case 0002. And it would carry on reading down the subprogram until it reaches yet another M98 line. And we can call another subprogram within our subprogram. So by doing exactly the same thing as we did in our main program to our subprogram, we can call a third subprogram and we can run that through. And again, we can state the amount of repetitions we need it to run here. So in this case, we've called program 0003. We run that subprogram all the way through to reach M99. But it won't return back to our main program. It will return back to our previous subprogram, the one it called it. Then this program will continue reading until it hits M99. And when it reads that, it goes back another level to our main program and continues reading that. And our average CNC machine can nest these programs up to five times. So we can go five levels deep in our subprograms. So M98 is good and all, but the problem with M98 is it can't pass information in variables down to our subprograms. So if we wish to pass information into variables, we need to use G65. Now I say G65, this may be different on certain machines depending on the version of G code that machine may use. So let's have a quick look how G65 works. So in this line here, G65 calls our macro program or our sub program. P8001 is our program number and that will call the program 08001. But then we have some letters afterwards and the A and B here does not refer to the axes in this time. 
A and B here is information that we wish to pass into variables. And we can use our local variables for this. And we have up to 33 local variables. By using letters A to Z, we can pass 26 bits of information into variables. And these letters correspond with the variable number. So for example, A100 here would pass the value 100 into variable one into our subprogram. And B0.5 would pass the information 0.5 into variable two because it's B and C would be variable three and right down to Z would be variable 26. So when we start passing down information into our subprograms, it's how we get into writing probing cycles and our own custom cycles to be able to use on our machines. So G-code is an extremely deep language and by understanding macro programming, we can do almost anything with our machine that we require. I have more articles and a course on macro programming over on my website at gcodetutor.com. So if you want to know more information about this, pop over to my website and check it out.